Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 3 with another FP vodcast. It's me between against me and Lori once again. I'm not done well the last couple games. Don't know how well I'm gonna do this game. I have my doubts. I'm not gonna lie. But this is Rapids, and Rapids is a map that is really bizarre because it encourages amphibious play. It. So I guess I will probably be going amphibious, and Lori will probably be going amphibious. He might. Not. He might instead go for hovercrafts. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to be going for amphibious. No, wait, that's not amphibious. Amphibious is F. And get a couple ducks. Very early ducks. While building up my economy. Setting up my wind gens and everything. A little vulnerable, but it should work. Should at least be far enough away that it won't cause a big explosion and everything dying. Because that's really the only thing to have happen. You go over here and... Oh, I forgot to hotkey my fat. You go over here, you go up and around. So I'm sure it will come up that you will be best used elsewhere. Actually, what do I think of it? Do I have these guys together? I guess these guys are together okay. I just noticed ducks have a tendency to kill each other. They seem to be very vindictive about their own kind. They, they just attack each other without any real warning. But it's more a matter of they miss and then they hit the other one and it just blows the other one up. Actually, I think ducks... We are playing the latest test version, by the way. Ducks can actually one-shot mexes right now. And each other. Yeah, ducks... It used to be they would hit a mex and then leave it at 1 HP. But now I think they can one-shot them. So I might actually want to make these ducks separate and attack from different angles. And then where's the other duck? The other duck's over here. So duck one. Go up. And duck has already gone and the two ducks have traded. Because ducks can also now one-shot each other. That's the other thing that that change kind of implied. Wait, weren't you... Ah, oh, darn it. I told you to build wind generators and then to interrupt that in order to build the metal extractor, not to just give up and not build a metal extractor at all. Get that max. Get that max. No, the wind generator got in the way. Ah, reloaded in time. Nailed the max. Although, admittedly, once again, I am putting reclaim in his territory, so... Getting rid of the mechs was a good thing, but still, I did put Reclaim in his territory. I am kind of feeding him metal. I believe he's going to thank me for that donation. Okay, just double check. Does he have a metal spot taken here? No, he does not, but he probably has up in the base another metal spot taken. And another... Oh, the duck! Once again, a duck trade. Ducks can't easily fight other ducks. Archers have more health. Archers might actually be a good idea in this case. They are healthier units. They last longer. They're better for you. Well, actually, they're not better. They are, they are tougher, but they're also frailer. Or, sorry, they're tougher, but they're also weaker, not frailer. <laughs> they cannot be tough and frail at the same time. That's, that's complete contradiction. But I think I may find I'm going to get a lot of trades going with ducks. And Duck 3 going over the north. Duck 1 going to be fighting up against archers. Which actually, ducks... One duck can't one-shot, but two ducks can't... Oh, this is what I meant why ducks do not work well together. They blow each other up. Although they also blow up... Oh, no, 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 no. Archer... Ah, see, okay. Archers apparently will be quite useful, and I do have one myself. So I can send that in and start tearing them apart. And Duck 3 over to the north. Duck one over to the south, and my archers are doing okay. In fact, I might want to get a clam. Yeah, I'll get a clam after this is done, because that clam will be allowing me to start building up, because I'm getting more and more metal, and I don't want to be... Oh! The archer! No! The archer's being a pain. Shoot. Yeah, archers are actually quite powerful. I guess they must have buffed archers pretty recently. Because they are proving to be a bit of a pain to deal with. Duck, get back in the water. Amphibious units can heal in the water, so I want to take advantage of that. Oh well, so much for... I guess early harassment is going to be a little bit tricky to make work well. But I can get my factory just a little bit more build power. As it stands... Actually, wait, oh, wait, hold on. Put radar in the center. Put radar in the center, and actually put sonar as well. I think sonar needs to be in the water. Oh, wow. He has a lot of stuff built in the water here. 
In fact, this duck should be able to harass a lot of that, come to think of it. Oh, some of that being a defender. Wait, can archers attack? I don't think archers can attack underwater, come to think of it. Ducks can. Archers can't, but ducks can. Well, it's going to be interesting. So we have a lot of... Now I know what he's up to, at least. And you, I want you to build... What do I want you to build? I guess a lotus and an urchin. I mean, that's all I can really think of. And then build more metal extractors. Ha! Well, at least we can get rid of some of these ducks, if nothing else. And this one duck in the water, doing a pretty good job dealing with everything in the water. And on the other hand, also trading. So at least I, I am keeping his numbers of ducks down, if nothing else. His duck numbers are staying down. So at this point, I may want to start getting some other units, maybe some boys. I got some boys. Not sure how well exactly that'll work, but it should be okay. And I'm... Oh. Okay, you know what? Forget the urchin then. Just go and build more metal, because we're running Lano on metal. Actually, hold on. You get rid of the defender, and then go up here, because I think... Oh, there's archers there. Well, you can two-shot. One... Two, ar two ducks can one-shot an archer together. If you can just get close enough... Or not. Just blow up the metal extractor instead. Get back in the water! Uh -huh. Oh, okay. One of the ducks died on landing, but the other one's able to get back in the water successfully. And go over here, go over here, and archers go up from there and harass. And where are the boys? The boys should be... Oh, okay. You get back on... You actually got in group five. Oh, no, my... No, my comm is gonna die to laser turret. Oh, my goodness, that was embarrassing. Why did I let that happen? Oh, you guys go up. You guys go up. You were just about to attack. That was a bit of a micro mistake on my part, but you guys were about to attack. Actually go and do so. Oh, that's interesting. Scallops are actually heavy enough to not worry about water. However, they are also not so powerful they can't worry about ducks. The ducks will kill them. Oh, wait, no, 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 I said kill them. Not die. You fools. They get back here and raid. While at the same time, my commander is dead. I have only... I need more workers. I need a lot more workers. A lot more constructors because my commander is dead and I need ways of getting economy. Ah, no, why did you not... Ah, you fools, you do not attack the right things. Okay, well, at least I have a duck... Oh, no, it's a buoy in there. At least the buoy is tough enough that I can deal with this stuff, but then again, it's also not that strong. Okay, I guess buoys were a bad idea. Unfortunately, I don't have enough economy for getting stuff like... Well, anything, really, actually. Anything beyond what I already have. But it's kind of embarrassing to have such a weak economy at this point. Actually, why is my... Oh, because I was a fully wind-based economy. That was... All right, no, no, get back here. Get... Okay, well, apparently I'm not overdriving as much as I would like to. Oh, they're called conches now. Oops, my mistake. Wow, okay, that buoy is really doing nothing at all. Get out of there. You are of no help to anyone. I think I'm I think I'm dead in the water. As it were. Seeing as I really don't have a whole lot of units being built up, I don't have a great economy, and I don't have an easy way of raiding out everything that's going on that currently Lori has. And why did that buoy do that? The heck? I didn't tell that boy to do anything. That was insubordination. Get back in the water! Get back in the water! Ah! You... Ugh, idiot. I said to get back in the water. Why? What part of that do you not understand? And I gave you a command. I right-clicked at the right spot to push you back into the water. I mean, the one thing going for me is that I have quite a lot of radar coverage. For this entire area. But no, it's not working out shoot. Wait, what's the... Wow, that is embarrassing. I lost everything right there. Well, the buoy would have been... Ah, that would have been useful synergy. See, I don't use Amphib Lab very often, or at all. So it's a little unfamiliar to me. I think it's a little unfamiliar to most players, but Lori is a much better player than I am, so he's probably played with it a few times before. 
more familiar with how it works. Also, why is my wind so slow? I thought this is a high part of the map. Oh well, whatever. Okay, it's not going to work. I am. I need to get critical mass of units here. Build up, darn you, build up! Get myself in a position where I can at least deal with these units. The archers can deal with the ducks okay. But it's dealing with the other archers that's a bit of a problem, and these... Come on, you silly boys. Get over in position to actually deal with the archers. Before the archer dies, you morons. <sighs> yeah, this is not going to work. Once again, I failed to get a critical mass of units because, really, I haven't had most of the map this entire game. <sighs> that's game. I really don't see any way out of this. Like that... Kind of silly. Oh, right! Hold position, that's a thing. I forgot I can do that. By default. Let's just go change that, I guess. I'm supposed to set that default hold position thing because the configuration sliders really are not easy to understand. It's not clear what the default state is, and it's also per factory, so that's a pain in the butt. Seems like there is one thing that sets it as a default, but it looks like it's probably per game. I don't know. Maybe it's not just per game. But, yeah, hopefully I can get someone else in to play other than Lori, because Lori is just too good for me. I really can't... I can't beat him easily. I need to be playing a lot more in a lot more focused way to actually be able to beat him. Playing against him while... Talking about it is not easy to do. Playing it all while talking about it is not easy to do. Although it looks like right now the only person watching is Sprang, so... Mm. I guess FP VODs really aren't the thing that people want to see too much of, huh? Oh well, I guess that's good to know. Well, anyway, once that gets going, we'll just get back. But for now, just go to intermission and then probably be back shortly. So stay tuned.